No leg header. Uh, no, no jaw. That's all. Here you go, buddy. We got the full screen. We're in business. We're in business, baby. We are in business, Jean Luc. Hello, Jeremy. Hello, sir. I just, uh, we just started, we just made this call. Two minutes. We didn't have any technical issues. We didn't have any technical issues for an hour and 15 minutes. We just started the, uh, we just started this podcast uh, 10 seconds ago. Everything just works. Wait, it's not a podcast. It's it's, it's not a podcast. You already messed it up. <laughs> I already messed it up. So, so what is this, John Luke? Um, what, what are we doing here? You, you describe, to the best of your knowledge, from the, the, the least amount of information I've given you, what are we doing here? Uh, from what I can gather from my sleuthing is uh, we are just going to be talking about our interests, talking about things that we find interesting uh, as it pertains to Japan or action figures or media or what have you. Yeah, so let's, for those who are not familiar with who we are, um, and there's some people that have seen the channel but maybe haven't seen our faces or haven't, haven't seen a video with Jean-Luc, or maybe you haven't seen my face, but you've seen his face, and you know, I never know. Sometimes I'm, I'm behind the camera the entire time, and all you see is John luc and you think it's, oh, John luc it's John luc's channel. <laughs> <laughs> it is John luc's channel, let's be it's honest. It's a terrifying thought. <laughs> you haven't been on a, in a video, which I was noticing uh, in like, well, it's been a, it's been like four months? Yeah, it's it's been a while. I mean, I've been uh, out and about and busy and, uh, I, I'm, the last time we hung out, we didn't record. Um, you know, we've still seen each other. I just haven't been on the channel in a while. Right, right. Yeah, we hang out often. Um, not as often as we'd like, but we hang out. And uh, I don't want to record every time we hang out. Most people wouldn't. Um, and I feel sorry for the channels that do record every single thing. It's scary. I'd never be that person. I'm sorry. Uh, so, yeah, my name is Jeremy. I'm... The Tokyo Toy Bastard. This is my channel, Tokyo Toy Banzai, and this is our attempt to try to do a podcast format um, without calling it a podcast and just yeah discuss, you know, stuff that we're into. As Jean Luc said, we're both based here in Japan. I live in Tokyo. Jean Luc, introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Jean Luc. Uh, I live in Kanagawa, which is right below Tokyo. I've been living here for maybe close to four years now. Um, hopefully gonna be a lot longer than that, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, uh, you know, see how the, the court case goes. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, uh, you know, I'm trying to beat the case, but it's hard. <laughs> There's no court case. Yeah, you've been here for four years, um, and I've known you for the majority of that time. What, three years already? Time flies. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I've been here for almost 20 years, but uh, you and I met through Marusan events. Two different Marusan events. I think one, you contacted me uh, via DM, and I gave you some information, and then the next one we met up. Is that how it works? Right. It's pretty insane now. So let's uh, let's go get smothered with people. Right, the first one I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. What do I do? <laughs> you were you just kind of explained everything. I know some people see some of our videos where we're acting extra goofy in public, like at toy shops. That's 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 uh, me too. <laughs> if there's someone around us, we usually won't film anything. Like we won't be goofy, like the, to the right. extent where we're, we're like bothering people. Even sometimes yeah. there's like uh, store owners that, you know, uh, we may know and, and they're like, hey, you know, just wait till the shop's like a little less full and then, you know, it's fine to record. Hey. Right. But it's, it's a very serious thing uh, recording without someone's consent here. Yes, yes, that is that there's actually a law preventing you from recording people in public here, um, which is why if you see Japanese content or Japanese TV, people's faces will always be blurred out. Like if they want to use their face, if they don't want to, if they don't need their face, they won't show their face. Right. So, but if it's YouTube, like even Japanese YouTubers will blur everyone's face out, even if they're not in Japan. So it's, it's just part of the culture here. 
and uh, then you had all these live streamers that kind of went and messed everything up, and people stopped live streaming here. I mean, in public, which I don't really do anyway. But you know, that's kind of calmed down a little bit. But the you know, the tourism problem is has uh, hasn't really changed, and it's good for the economy, no. but it's causing a lot of problems. Yeah, maybe they'll do something about it. Speaking of Japan, this this is my attempt at a segue. Um, I we both just watched the movie recently, right? One that takes place in Japan. Yes, yes, we did. What was that movie? That is for messing up my game. <laughs> well, if you've been paying attention to my Instagram feed, uh, if this goes up in the next week, um, or the last couple of YouTube video and shorts that I posted, it was Ultraman Rising. Ultraman Rising. Yes. So, um, I want to ask your impressions before and after. I'm going to give my before and after thoughts. So, I was excited at the prospect of an animated Ultraman being produced in the U.S., but I was also very, uh, you know, kind of weary about whether or not they would pull it off correctly and how, how, you know, Minions territory it would end up being. So that, that's right. kind of the, like when I first saw like images of like, oh no, is this gonna be like? Ultraman and Minions or something because I I, yeah. I I fucking hate the Minions movies. Which is a little ironic because Japanese people love Minions. There's a whole Minions like. Minions! <laughs> oh my god. USJ has a whole Minions area. Minions ice cream. It's just everywhere here. Yeah, I despise Minions. I do enjoy the first Despicable Me movie. Great movie. Me too. I do like the first one, but anything after that I haven't seen. Yeah. Yeah. All the Minions can go fucking burn in hell. Um. <laughs> this podcast is uncensored, by the way. <laughs> right, not for children. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee time. So when I saw like um, the first teaser images and trailer, I was initially just worried about two things. Uh, the proportions for Ultraman. Yeah, same. And and the cute kaiju character, which was unnamed at that point, the pink cute character. Um, so, but I was like, you know, before before you go any further, spoiler territory, right? We're we're gonna be laying everything on the line. Okay, let's we'll do spoilers oh. later. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So okay, first we're just doing initial impressions about what we thought the the film was gonna be like, or sure. what, what we thought of the the character design or whatever. And then uh, afterwards, we can talk about spoilers at the end, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, in case anyone's not clear, Ultraman Rising is a brand new animated film. It's a it's a film. It's not a series, as it, I initially thought it was going to be a series. And it's on Netflix. It is produced by Netflix, so it's available internationally. So, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Uh, we'll discuss a little bit here. When we get to spoilers, I will make it clear that there are going to be spoilers. So... So yeah, I was I was concerned about the proportions of Ultraman and the characters and the cuteness of the kaiju. Um, as like I hate like for example, I really don't like Manila. I hate Pokemon. <laughs> I don't hate Pokemon. Those are two completely different things. But <laughs> I have a I have a deep respect for Pokemon actually, and I, I actually really want to do a video about the history of like it coming together. I'm sure there's been millions of videos done like that, but I want to do it from the perspective of someone who's not a fan and knows more about the the uh how it was created but so f with ultraman you have this rich history and you, you don't want it to you don't want to see it like just completely completely destroyed super is predicting right. it so you know they've got to oversee things shin ultraman just came out a couple years ago and apparently the the director is a fan which i didn't know at the time so uh flash forward to the yeah the, the final the, tra the trailer is released I'm like, ah, this is looking like it might be too cutesy. It's it's very Disney-ish, very American. Um, yeah. Although it looks like it's set in Japan, very American from the voice acting and animation and all that. So I'm like, well, it's fine. I mean, I love American animation. There's lots of American animation and film that are some of my top favorites, so I'm not going to discriminate based on that. But just a little worried. Then the toys get revealed uh, before I see the movie. <laughs> And that's where I start to kind of laugh a little bit because I'm like, man, these, like, Ultraman himself is so gangly. 
Yeah. Like, how is that going to even work as a toy? How's it going to stand up? Uh, you know, it just looks so weird. And then I ended up going out and buying um, most of the toys that exist. I have as you do. These are my two favorites at at the at the moment. Uh, before I saw the movie, and I, I went out and bought these on Ultraman Day, kind of as like, you know, it'd be kind of fun to have this because it's kind of weird looking. Also, my son plays with toys. He's still at the age where he's about to be at the end of his, you know, toy playing yeah. journey until he becomes like us, <laughs> which is inevitable. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, and, you know, I was like, you know, this would be fun. I can make some videos, whatever. And then I got them home and I really enjoyed the toys and then we watched the movie. So my qualms about the toys were were okay. I mean, we're, we're, uh, we're calmed. Does that rhyme? Does that rhyme? My qualms were calmed. Qualms were calmed. Qualms were calmed. Uh, so I was like, okay, let's see, let's see how this movie is, and uh, watched it in the bed, um, complete darkness with the TV, and you know, the movie theater experience because upstairs. How big is your TV, Jeremy? <laughs> uh, it's pretty. It's. I mean, for me, it's pretty big. You know, it's pretty. Okay. Big. It's a. It's a miniature. You know, theater. I experience. feel like our viewing experiences are much different. Oh, your TV is much bigger. Your TV is much bigger. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the, the, my my bedroom is like the quietest, darkest place I can go to to watch a movie. Upstairs is not gonna happen because my wife and daughter are up here watching K-pop and shit. Um, so yeah, I wanted them to watch, but they were like, nah. And uh, I'll try again another time. But yeah, anyway, loved the movie. No spoilers. Ended up loving the movie. I had there was several aspects to it that I thought were very intriguing. There was a there was a couple little nitpicks I had, but otherwise, um, I was genuinely surprised at how good it was. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and consider supporting on Patreon. Link is in the description. Thank you.